hello guys welcome back to my channel so today we're going to make uh, this very cute summer crop top so what you're gonna need is you're gonna need a crochet hook which is uh, 5.0 millimeters I don't know if you can see it on camera it's quite hard to see it on camera but it's 5.0 millimeters and I use this kind of yarn uh, some kind of white yarn it's quite chunky and I use this one um, the fake buttons they are goldish in color so if you want to put those you can also use those and also a zipper to put at the back or you don't if you don't need that you can just use a crochet hook to crochet it together so let's get started uh, we're going to start by making the chain and uh, there's no specific number of chains we are supposed to make so it depends with the uh, the length of your top so how long you want your top to be so in my case from here until here uh, I made uh, chain 56 so because I wanted my top to be quite long okay so you can uh, you can make a size 50 size 40 size 30 well depending on the size of your torso so uh, in my case I'm going to start making a uh, size 56 so we're going to do chain one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven okay so you're, con you're going to continue like that until uh, the chain is long enough or until the chain is the size of the length or the length of the top that you want to. Okay, so that is from here until here at the top. Okay, so I'll see you when you're done making your chain so that I show you how to continue with the uh, next step. Okay, so after you have finished making your chain, in our round two, uh, we're going to start making half double crochets all the way through. So in this top, we're going to do only half double crochet, but uh, and we're going to do that in the back loops only. But in our beginning chain here, you're going to skip the first chain from the hook, and then we're going to start here at the second chain from the hook. Okay, so we're going to do a half double crochet so you're going to yarn over and then go in the second chain from the hook and go in through and pull through so in that way you have three loops on your hook and then you're going to pull through all the three loops together okay and then you're con you're going to continue that again so i'm going to make another half double crochet in the next chain Okay, and then also I'm going to do that all the way through so in each chain I'm going to make half double crochet all the way through until the end so I'm going to make another half double crochet okay do another half double crochet Half double crochet. Okay, so you're going to continue like that until you finish here at the end. Okay, so do half double crochet all the way through until here at the end, and then I'll show you how to do the next row. Okay, so after I'm done with my with my last chain, uh after I'm done doing half double crochet in the last chain in the first row so I'm going to turn over to the other side and then I'm going to do a chain one so this chain one doesn't count as a as a stitch so when you're done with your chain one in this row we're going to work in the back loops only so from this row until we complete our our top we're going to do half double crochets in the back loops only so the back loops means uh, we have two loops here on your hook when you work half double crochet. So we have the front side and the back side. So we're not going to do in both the two sides. So you're going to leave the first side and do only in the other side. 
so I'm going to do I'm going to start at the very end here so I'm going to do half double crochet in the back loop so I'm going to go here and do half double crochet okay and then I'm going to repeat that again all the way around in the back loop only so do another half double crochet so another half double crochet in the back loop Okay, and then repeat that all all over again to another half double crochet so repeat that again okay so as you can see as we continue it's going to form these one these rib stitches Okay, so you're going to continue like that half double crochet in the back loop only until you get here at the end and then um, I'll show you how to do the next row which is going to be pretty the same as this other row and then um, I'll show you how to continue with the top okay so after you get here at the end so I'm going to yarn over uh, do in the back loop of my last stitch do half double crochet okay and after that you remember the chain one that we did so you're going to do another half double crochet in that stitch that we did uh, a chain one when we were turning so you're going to yarn over and do another half double crochet in that one stitch that we did our chain one okay and then you're going to turn your work and do a chain one Okay, and then after you do your chain one you're going to start the same process again so yarn over and then do another half double crochet from the very start here in the back loop only okay and then you're going to continue like that all the way through until the end Okay, so yarn over. Okay, so uh, you're going to continue with the same pattern all around until the end. So you're going to do another half double crochet, half double crochet until you get here at the end. And when you get here at the end, uh, don't forget to do the last stitch here so that in that way your work will be straight. So uh, when you're done with the last stitch, do another half double crochet here and then do a chain one and repeat again do another half double crochet so when you're done with that uh, you're going to have rib stitches like these ones that I made okay so uh, make your top as long as possible or until you can wrap it around your waist so that is what I did with my top Okay, so you're going to make uh, these stitches like that and make sure it's long enough until you can wrap it around you and then I'll show you how to make the uh, this one the sleeves here at the top okay and how to join the part together so after I finished with my top or after I finished doing all the parts together so what I did is um, I did slip stitches all the way through so as you can see so this is the wrong side and this is the outside side okay so I did slip stitches all the way through so that I come up with this pattern here over here like a flowerly pattern so what I did in the ribbed stitches I slip stitch all the way through as you can see you can see it through here inside so I slip stitch all the way through until the end and also I did that in the uh, in both the upper side and the downside so I slip stitch all the way through around all the way until the end and in that way it will look better okay and finish and also instead of uh, joining my parts together uh, all the way through I decided to put a zipper here so in this end and the other end so what you're gonna do you go in the inside side if you want to put a zipper and then place your zipper here using some uh, 
some safety pins then you can uh, stitch it using a needle all the way around until here at the end so this is what I did okay so I just used a normal white zipper and then I use my needle to stitch it all around until here at the end and because the zipper was not long enough I used also my needle uh, to join the two parts together so which is to close the gap here at the end okay so in that way will be easier for me to, revo uh, to remove my top so I'm just gonna be opening it just open it uh, when I take it off and also uh, wearing it will be easier okay so you can choose to join your parts using a needle or you can slip stitch using a crochet hook uh, in both the two sides it's really easy and also now i'll show you how to make uh this the sleeve to hold your top and also something else that i did uh i put these buttons here so i had some spare buttons that i bought in my store they are kind of fake buttons not real so you can see they don't have uh, anything to put the needle through so what I did is I used a fabric glue and I glued them here so I, I think they look really cute and also they add uh, some kind of design to the top it looks better with uh, with the buttons here okay so you can add any kind of style that you want okay or um, you can style it the way you want Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to make uh, the sleeves and then we'll be done with our top. Okay, so for the sleeves too, I did a chain 50. So as you can see, it's the same as the length of the top. So what I did is I did a chain 50 first. And then after I did a chain 50, I did half double crochet all the way through. Okay. So I'm going to do half double crochet, uh, just like the way we did when we are beginning to make our top. So I did half double crochet. Okay, and also half double crochet in the next stitch. Half double crochet. Half double crochet okay so we're gonna do our half double crochet all the way around until here at the end so after I am done with my half double crochets I'm going to turn my work and do a chain one okay and then I'm going again uh, to start with half double crochet in the back loops only just like the top so I did half double crochet, then I went in the back loop and do half double crochet all the way around until the end. So this is going to be our last round of the, uh, of the sleeves or of the top. So you're just going to do half double crochet in the back loop only, just like the way we did uh, with the top. Okay, so do all the way around until Okay, so repeat that in the back loop only until the end because what I wanted is I want the rib stitches to match uh, with the top okay so after you're done with your top uh, with the sleeves until the end this is how the sleeves are gonna look like and I just used my my needle to attach them over here a thread and a needle so I just uh, stitch them here in the front side and also in the back side so two times and then I did the same thing in the front side and in the back side so there's no way of uh, where you're supposed to do your stitches or where you're supposed to put the sleeves so what you do first is you put your top on and then you're going to mark where you want your sleeves to be so in my case I put it here after one two and then the third ribbed stitch over here so that is what I did and make sure the rib stitches are in line with the sleeves like that so that uh, it's it looks like the pattern continues all the way to the sleeves and also on this other side you're going to do the same 
uh, make sure the pattern continues like that with the rib stitches make sure they are in line together okay so uh, this is a very easy top to make it uh, I made it in like well honestly one day and that's because I didn't have the time to do it the whole day okay so I hope you enjoyed this pattern and um, if you haven't checked out my other videos please check them out and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed if you have any questions you can post it in the comment below and until next time bye